I know we tried the Huacha, and there's a good chance that the Catapult is going to do the exact same thing. It's just going to backflip into the Stratosphere, but would you really not want to see that? Let's be perfectly honest here. I want to know what happens uh, when a catapult loves itself. Um, what? That is not what I expected at all. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, I really want to continue exploring the latest update. Not only have simulations proven to be a pretty decent challenge so far, but Cupid has been very, very good at breaking the game. And that's really what I hope for most with these videos. So one of the biggest things that I discovered last episode was that the Jouster is technically two units, right? You might only place one thing, but it's a horse and it's a rider. They're two individuals. So when they both get shot by Cupid's arrows, they kind of want to love one another or do their own rendition of Cirque du Soleil. I don't know. I saw a lot of comments from people saying that I've never seen a horse cosplay as a Beyblade before. <laughs> That's a good joke. I wish I had made that one myself. <laughs> <laughs> Still gets me every time. But like I was saying, that's what happens when one unit is technically two. But we don't know what happens when you place just one unit. Like, what if I put down a knight? He gets shot with Cupid's arrow, there's no one around to love. Is he just gonna drop his metal pants and start tugging it? I have no idea. Assuming that love arrows go through a shield, why are the knights like 10 feet tall? Where are you going? I don't think that's a brothel. If it is, then this is the best castle ever. Is he gonna go make love to the tree? He's climbing a tree. <laughs> Never seen that before. Where are you going? You're looking for love in all the wrong places. Oh, he's gonna climb the tree again. You see, like, just, it just breaks the game. You can't predict this stuff. What exactly are you guys hoping to accomplish here? Oh, they... One somehow. They were just like butt humping the tree with their weird diaper bottoms and I, I guess the knight just offed himself? <laughs> I'm really confused. I realized when uploading last episode that every unit Cupid shot was a melee unit, except for the tank, which had a very adverse reaction. <laughs> but I'm really curious, what happens if he shoots a ranged unit? Are the ranged units going to shoot one another, or are they just going to ignore their weapons and start smooching? I, I really don't know how Cupid works quite yet. Yep, it's a whole bunch of smooching and, and breakdancing. Oh, right in the sack. <laughs> That's a low blow, Cupid. They were already getting it on. He really did not need the extra boost. A lot of you guys asked me to check out the dragon, because again, it's like, five different units in one. You've got the four flag bearers and you've got the dragon. So if you make the dragon love the people holding it up, what happens exactly? Hopefully you guys don't get torched in the meantime. Huh? So that's how you make a dragon fly in tabs. <laughs> that's wonderful. I don't think that's how that's supposed to work, but at the same time, it's so majestic. <laughs> it's also gonna burn the friggin' forest down. You guys might wanna finish it off soon. Let me guess, those diapers aren't fireproof. You guys are looking a little charred around the wings. You might wanna watch out. <laughs> I don't even know how many of these stupid flag bearers are currently alive. Like, they're, they're probably just holding on for the ride. <laughs> what is happening right now? Is it gonna die? Is it gonna land on the moon? Have you ever had one of those ideas that you knew was a bad idea, but you just didn't care? Like making a Huacha fall in love with itself? <gasps> what you gonna do about that? I can't imagine you can be much more broken than you already are. <laughs> uh, <laughs> working as intended. <laughs> Oh, we gotta watch out for those arrows. They might actually hit us if it gets lucky. Nope, turns out a guy pushing a wooden cart can't do 50 backflips, 49 is the max. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Look, we all know that the Grim Reaper is the strongest unit in the game, but is he stronger than the power of love? <laughs> There's really only one way of finding out. I'm kind of terrified to see what's gonna happen when 
the Grim Reaper falls in love. Oh, 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 you guys might want to move a little bit or not. Uh, Grim? Grim, how's it go? No, no, Grim, Grim, don't do it! <laughs> such a foreign emotion to him that he didn't know how to process it. He just jumped off the edge. So we've tried individual units and we've tried multiple units and we've tried single units that are multiple units, but I'm curious what happens if you use a unit that spawns other units? Like if we make the clams fall in love, are they gonna give each other clams? Crabs, I don't know. Are they gonna continue to throw clams at us? Or will they stop? Oh, oh, no, you guys, you, you don't wanna make the clams fall in love. You, you really want to make the clams fall in love with their owners? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that kind of worked, I guess. Oh, there, there, there are too many targets and not enough Cupid. <laughs> okay, well, Somebody can overpower them at least. Who would have guessed that the only thing more powerful than love would be seafood? I know we tried the Huacha, and there's a good chance that the catapult is going to do the exact same thing. It's just going to backflip into the stratosphere, but would you really not want to see that? Let's be perfectly honest here. I want to know what happens uh, when a catapult loves itself. Um, what? That is not what I expected at all. That's not even kind of the same thing! <laughs> there is no way to predict this! Like, th this just defies the laws of physics. The game just breaks around Cupid. It's such a good unit. I was ready to move on to the simulations like five battles ago, but I can't help but see what happens when we hit other siege units. <laughs> Can a ballista process love uh not particularly well it's doing so a little bit more watcha style i suppose but it just can't keep it up weird why is the catapult so different i'm almost afraid to try the pumpkin catapults we don't know if cupid has any effect on skeletons yet It'll be interesting to see if a skeletal catapult will kind of break out again. Uh-huh, yeah, it, it's just kind of like snappy, twitchy motions. It, it doesn't really fly and swoop around like the others. This one's having a hard time getting off the ground, though. <laughs> I think it's trying to drown itself. No, uh, sorry, it succeeded in drowning itself. And last but certainly not least, we need to try a tornado. I don't know how many cupids this is gonna require because they're gonna get sucked up real quick. But I'm gonna try my best to at least get the tornado off the ground and then see what happens when it loves cheerleaders. It's sucking up cheerleaders, but it kind of just does that anyway most of the time. It, it finally went for cupid. And now it's gonna go finish itself off. We win, though! Cupid, great unit or greatest unit? I'll let you guys decide in the comments. But moving on, we're gonna start off with a simulation called Charge, where we are gonna get charged by a whole lot of trouble. I I'm not super worried about the wheelbarrows. I'm willing to bet a few of them are gonna run off the side of the map, but the jousters and the monkey king that seems to be loosening his hips in the back, they're definitely gonna be a problem. It's interesting that they have a lot of holes in the map. Do you think I'm supposed to use that to my advantage? Like, what if we used... Uh, I really don't want to try fan bearers and shouters. Wind is so ineffective in this. What if we use something like balloon archers? Right, we can kind of make them float up and drop back down into a hole. I think that might be some kind of decent strategy. <laughs> it's only one way of finding out. The jousters jumped off the map themselves. Okay, then. I wasn't quite expecting that. <laughs> that is very fortunate. Uh, okay, we, we got quite a few survivors. Seems that the wheelbarrows are just a, a little confused, more or less. We can't get them off the ground. Guys, you need to turn around. There's a whole lot of trouble coming down the alley right now. 
<laughs> Please. There we go. Okay, good. Good. We, we got Vikings jumping off the map. <laughs> we got the Monkey King showing up. And we got quite a few archers left. This is actually working. We've got bodies falling off <laughs> everywhere. Oh, no. No, you guys, you got to figure out which one the real Monkey King is or he is going to wallop all of you. Please tell me that was him. No, no, it wasn't. Please tell me that was him. No, no. The illusions keep jumping to their death and not the real one. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. We had them outnumbered like 50 to 1 and we still lost. I'm thinking we might need some ballistas at medium range. Even if it's just a couple of them, because we need something to take down that Monkey King. And I, I can't think of anything else. I've been calling this thing the God Killer since the beginning of the game for a reason. It should be able to kill just about anything. But then we need something else, something in front that can fight them. I wonder how the Clam Jam would fare here. If the clams fall off the map, it's not the end of the world. Just want the summoners to stay safe. And I'm willing to bet that these horses are still going to run into the holes as long as we spread out properly. Yeah. <laughs> they want to run right down the middle, but if you don't put anybody in the middle, then they don't really know what to do. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well, we lost quite a few clams. They're good. Good. Thank you. <laughs> as long as the ballistas are kept alive. No, don't you do it. Okay, hold on. Assuming direct control, the last thing I need now is you shooting a teammate. We just gotta aim at the Monkey King. <laughs> I don't trust the ballistas to do a good job, okay? I know that's kind of unreasonable, and some people consider this cheating, but I don't care, especially because I seem to miss. That guy did all the work. Moving on to a simulation called Wall, and oh boy, is this one ever gonna suck. We're gonna get jumped on by Vikings immediately, and then a phalanx is gonna work its way through this tight pass. Okay, I think we could take care of the phalanx with the dragon. I'm pretty sure that they should all get torched in that narrow alleyway, but we need to protect the dragon somehow. What would be good against a bunch of Vikings, actually? I saw that they upgraded the teacher recently, and I'm curious how much that upgrade actually means. Because there was a point where it felt like the teacher could just counter and insta-kill anything. <laughs> so what if you counter and insta-kill all of these Vikings? That would come in super handy. Dragon, dragon, focus, focus. I don't want to have take control of you. I really need you to turn, turn. There we go. <laughs> and you're dead. Really? So that didn't go according to plan at all, and it turns out their super long weapons are real effective against a sword. I'd be willing to bet that the sword caster would be really good with this new and improved cheerleader. It definitely feels like they buffed the cheerleader. And if we put a couple of them on either sword caster, then they might just be able to machine gun down everything. You see what I mean? That was crazy. Unfortunately, we lost all of our cheerleaders and they've got a whole bunch of shields that don't seem to matter all that much. Oh, yeah, they're glass cannons. They get poked and they die. Look at all the swords. <laughs> it was a right idea, but man, oh man, there are some units that just completely demolish others in this game. For instance, the Raper demolishes everything. So maybe we should just use two of them. I don't know why they would give me $5,000 because those guys just jumped to their death. Okay, that works for me. All the more tentacles for you, fine fellows. Hello. Oh, it feels good to find the solution. That, that might be a little cheap. That is way cheaper than taking control of a unit. Next up, we have a level called Jump, and it's very different from the others. Like, I get the idea that the Vikings are gonna hopefully jump the gap and fight us, but what do I make of all the others in the back? The, the Zeus and the Huacha and all the other random MacGuffins? I, I guess we just kind of meet them on the first floor, maybe? I got $5,000 to spend. I kind of want to see what would happen if we had Vikings jumping at Vikings. I think it's the Berserker? Yeah, okay, so if we put our own Berserkers here, are they just gonna meet in the middle and fall to their death? <laughs> I don't really know. We'll try them with Cupid, because let's be honest, I, I can't get enough Cupid in a video. 
<laughs> we gotta try them out at least a little bit in the simulations. Oh, they're just gonna swap. Okay, that that's fair enough, I guess. And Cupid is gonna make quick work of the rest. <laughs> Making them jump to their death. They are really trying their best to ram their head through that wall. <gasps> What's going on over here? Oh, we actually had a survivor get in the mix and completely ruined them all. Uh, that That's a little friendly fire right there. <laughs> Your commander's not gonna be too pleased with that, sir. Then again, I can't tell if you're driving the Huacha or the Huacha was driving you. <laughs> All right, so far so good. We got plenty of Cupids left and we're managing to turn things around. <laughs> just, just don't get hit by Zeus. Yeah, yeah, keep them loving Zeus. Everybody loves Zeus, right? He, he's such a great god. Maybe, maybe he should go take a long walk off a short ledge. Thank you, appreciate you. <laughs> Moving on, we have a simulation called Surrounded. And what do I even look at here? <laughs> There's so much happening. There's so many units and places for them to attack us. I, I don't even know what I should be using here. I feel like I shouldn't even try for strategy. I just wanna screw around. I wonder what would happen if I put potion sellers everywhere. I just man the ramparts with a bunch of potion sellers. Would I be able to make the enemy drunk enough to jump to their death? I feel like you can confuse stuff in this game pretty easily because I'm always confused while playing it. <laughs> Do a little something like that. I think that might work. They could also just walk off the edge to their death. Please, please don't do that. Okay, so far so good. Oh, uh, the ballistas, I forgot about the ballistas, crap. And they've got a pirate captain. This is not gonna work at all. I missed the mod that made the potion sellers throw Molotov cocktails. That would've been so much more effective. I want to incinerate them, not get them drunk. Oh, uh, well, you know, these ballistas are kinda dumb. I just don't see how potion sellers are ever gonna be lethal. Do they ever kill a unit? I feel like everything that's died so far has just given up out of pity. Okay. Yep, this is not going according to plan. You might want to run now. Now would be... I was being sarcastic. Tried to run into the corner. This is what I'm working with here. I've got $6,000 to spend, so I, I would try a couple of Reapers, but they have ballistas. They're just gonna one-shot them. Unless I could get to the ballistas first. What if we put reapers here so that they fight the wings and then we have vampires who try to rush the ballistas? Yeah, that might be wishful thinking. <laughs> Especially because they have bards guarding the ballistas. Lovely. <gasps> Please tell me you can't shoot over here. Are you really good enough to aim and fire like that? Run, run, run. Okay, good. Good. So now they're hidden. This might actually work. As long as you guys stay out of sight. Stay out of sight. Don't let the ballista get a line of sight on you. Okay, good. Just stay hidden. How's the other one doing? Super broken. This should be an easy win right now. What happened to one of the rapers? Where did he go? Okay, he might have fallen off the edge. I just need you to not get shot in the back here. You can take this guy out pretty easily, right? Just a little swish. And there you have it. I think the other one might have shot the wall and blew itself up, but I'll, I'll take it. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. I'm going to cut things off a little early today. I think this might be a bit of a shorter video, but as some of you may already be able to tell, I've got an eye infection. And I don't know what kind of ligma this is, but it's making it really difficult for me to sit here under these bright lights and to screw around and cry laughing, so... <laughs> I'm gonna have to end it, but I do want to continue with this. I'm really enjoying the simulations. And if you guys are too, as always, be sure to leave a like this video, let me know, and I'll return soon to siege this castle. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.